often we will look out, we will perceive these plot twists in our life. And when I say plot twists, I mean the unplanned, the very difficult events in our life as a threat because simply things are not going according to plan. The plan, you know the plan. The plan in our brains, right? So we walk around with these very vivid images of how things are gonna look, be and feel in the future. And we get very attached to this story, this image. And what happens is it actually transforms into an expectation. We carry around a lot of expectations about how things are gonna look, be and feel in the future, how it's all gonna go you know, along our path, the plan. And of course, what's the truth about life? Oh, I just talked about it, it's unpredictable. <laughs> life rarely meets our expectations. It comes to us in other forms. Nothing like that image we formed in our mind. And so it is, it's very powerful for our resiliency. It lessens our resistance when we just catch ourselves carrying around expectations. And it is actually uh, kind of easy to, to notice when you are all caught up in an expectation and you've got this plan in your head. Oh yeah, anytime you're caught up in an expectation, you will think or say the word should, because it should be what you have formed in your mind. It should look like that image you created. It should be the plan, right? Have you ever said it? This should, that should, I should, we should. You ever had a bad case of the shoulds? <laughs> right, this should not be happening. Things around here should be a lot different. He should know better. We should not be having to deal with this. Yeah, it's tough to see the lighter side of life when you're standing there shooting yourself. <laughs> Stop shooting yourself. But see, when I sat there in that human resources office, that's one of the reasons I was experiencing a lot of stress and struggle, that I wasn't resilient in the face of that change in my life because I perceived this plot twist, and that's all it is, this difficult, unplanned thing in my life, this plot twist as a disaster. I told myself that things in my life were going terribly wrong. This, this was never going to make sense because I was shooting myself. I kept on thinking I should still be doing stand-up comedy. I should not be working in a human resources office in the Ontario government. the struggle. I was sitting there full of worry because things weren't going according to plan. And then one day, this woman named Janice came up to me. She was a colleague of mine. And Janice was on a committee of people organizing a learning and development day for a bunch of our ministry staff. Janice was a yeser. Janice knew that I had this background in comedy. And so this uh, conference that she was planning had the theme of wellness. So Janice came up to me one day and asked me if I would create and deliver a comical presentation all about wellness. What Janice wasn't really, you know, really aware of was that I was still pretty fresh out of stand-up comedy. I was not exactly the poster child for wellness. <laughs> I was still smoking and drinking quite heavily. <laughs> I hadn't exercised in about 12 years. <laughs> but I slowed it down and I thought about it. I mean, I wanted to say no right away, but I'm like, no, girl, come on. And I slowed it down. I thought about it. When I thought about it, I had this huge epiphany. I thought to myself, you know what this means? <gasps> you know what this means? <gasps> A day out of the office. <laughs> and I said yes. A few weeks later, I got up at this learning and development conference, the theme of wellness, and I delivered my comical presentation all about wellness. It was a huge hit. Everyone loved it. So what happened was I started to get phone calls and emails from different parts of the Ontario government asking me to come to their event, their conference, to deliver my comical presentation all about wellness. Before I knew it, I was going all around the Ontario government delivering my comical presentation all about wellness. When I told my mother what was going on, she said, Susan, leave it to you to go get a government job. <laughs> and still managed to go out on tour. <laughs> and the tour has brought me here today. I left the Ontario government 11 years. But this is better than any night at Yuck Yucks, believe me. <laughs> I am happy to report that I have returned to stand-up comedy. I got over myself. But I do it my way now. I tell you that story because it's my favorite piece of past data. This is past data that you have as well. You don't have this story. I mean, it'd be weird if you did. I mean, we should hang out. <laughs> like, hey girl. <laughs> But you have a story like mine, where you perceived it as something wrong, a disaster that was never going to make sense. You perceived that plot twist in your life as just purely negative. But now you see, now you see. 
that idea of it being a setback in your life was an illusion, that there was progress. I have come to understand that when we are in the struggle, when we are in the stress, it's not because things are going wrong, it's because we got that SFD planned in our minds and we're believing it. We're thinking and believing that things are going wrong. I've also come to understand from this experience that even though it's difficult and unplanned, does not necessarily mean that it isn't the very best thing for you in the long run. My dears, we have to play the long game. We can't see everything right here in this little tunnel, in this moment, and, and base it all on just you know, the facts that we have right here, right now. We need to play the long game. We need to see the long game played out in our lives. You've got past data. You have evidence that proves to you this truth. That's maybe a little harder to believe than the other one. Life is unpredictable. This one, it's like, hmm, okay, everything is progress. But you have evidence in your life that points to it, that proves it. That yes, things happen to you in life, but they also happen for you. I really don't believe we ever leave empty-handed. So just because you can't see the progress, just because you can't see the perfection, doesn't mean it isn't happening. It just means that you need to be patient. Life's got a bit more work to do. But one day you'll see it. But as you're standing there, or sitting there, I don't know what you're doing, but anyway, you're in the mystery, and there's a little leap of faith where you need to trust the process of life, that's when you reach back and grab your past data. A story like mine that can help you, that can help you trust that this will be in some way progress. Or just remember me. Because guys, really, when you think about it, if a girl can go from stand-up comedy to a human resources office in the Ontario government, and it all make perfect sense in the end, <laughs> By God, there's hope for us all. <laughs>